Welcome, my name is Kim and I'm so excited you're with me today because I wanted to share with you a fast five minute look for those days when you maybe have errands to run and you want to look cute and made up but not over the top or you just don't want to spend a lot of time but you got to look cute for maybe a Zoom call or maybe taking the grandkids to the ballpark or something like that. All right, so let's start of course the first thing I love to do is start with good skin, which I've already got all my skin here on. And then we're going to start with primer. This is one of my very favorite primers. Number one, it gives you an SPF of 15, which gang is super, super important. I promise. So I'm going to take a little bit like this, apply it, the nose, forehead, chin, and gently blend it out. This helps your makeup stay on. It also helps smooth out the skin so that the application doesn't go into any pores. All right. Next thing we're going to start with is our eye primer. Y'all hear me talk about this all the time. And eye primer is so important because it helps you put on shadow and helps it stay on all day. Because I don't know about you, I am not one that will. And you can take just a little dot, take just your ring finger. Blend it in an upward, outward motion, okay? Now, I am not one who likes to put on their makeup again during the day. Once it's on, it's on, all right? So, we're going to start with just a little bit of my under eye corrector. I love this product. Just takes a little dab. And you'll notice I'm not putting it on the puffy part of my eye. I am only putting it on the part where I have the darkness. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. And then I like to always come back with my finger and just blend it on the puffy part. That way you don't have excess cream there, which can make you appear a lot older and crepey under that eye area all right all right so today i'm going to apply liquid eyeshadow i love these because they're so quick all right so we're going to start and we're just going to apply it on the lid all right and then i just kind of blend it up a little bit i'm even doing the fingers today versus brushes because I want you to just see how simple this is and how polished you can look in five minutes or less. Okay, now maybe you're thinking to yourself, oh, I never do my eyeshadow until after I do my foundation. And you know, there's not a right and a wrong. It's just what you prefer. I do this because I tend to get mascara on my face and my eyeliner on my face so i like doing my eyeshadows first it's just a personal preference all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to do just a scooch of liner and a scooch is a little bit in case you're not familiar with that word I personally need liner because of the fact that when I don't have liner, my eyes don't look as open. All right. So that's just a personal thing. Now we're going to come back with a really simple mascara, which is our ultimate mascara. And I do love this mascara. It is pretty much one coat mascara. I have curled my lashes and you'll notice I'm not even putting primer on today, which is a total and complete different thing for me. I always put on primer, but today I'm not. Again, we're doing a quick five minute out the door look. All right. So then you've got, can you see the mascara when it's done? I love it. 
This Ultimate is a great beginning mascara if you're just beginning your makeup adventure because it just does so much. Now, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Can you see my mascara boo-boo? <laughs> and so we always, of course, have Q-tips handy. Always, always, because Kim makes boo-boos. So I hope I give you hope on that. All right. So now that we've got that on, the next thing we're going to do is CC cream. I do love CC cream because it, number one, has an SPF of 15, and it gives you protection. It does so much more than just give you color. I'm using the liquid foundation brush to apply it. And I apply it in a circular motion. All right. Again, this is just a very easy application. take a little bit of eyebrow pencil and just kind of fill in those areas that need to be filled in which for me is at the beginning and at the end of my eyebrows I do have my eyebrows done with microblading which I love and I, I strongly recommend and if you're local to me I've got a great lady I'd recommend and um, it just makes such a difference. Then we're going to comb out the eyebrows to make them look all soft. And then we're going to do something, one thing I love. And these are our cream blushes. How many of you all remember cream blushes from your grandmother? <laughs> I do. And I love it. I love it. Okay. So we're just going to take and apply it right along our cheek. We kind of look like a clown. Then we come back with our fingertips, kind of blend it in, and top it off with a little mat, with a little lip gloss, which this is unique mauve. And we're ready to go out the door. Do you guys like that look? It's so soft. It's so subtle. But don't I look different from when I started? I look like I'm polished and I'm ready to greet, greet the day or do whatever activities that I've got planned. This is a great Saturday look. So I hope that you've learned something. I hope that I've given you value. And I hope that you'll join and subscribe to my channel and share me with your girlfriends because I love sharing my tips with you. And so there's different things that go on in this channel. So be sure to hit subscribe and check me out on Facebook and on Instagram. Thanks bunches for joining. Love you guys.